Now, once you stopped him in the first fight, the second fight is the fight that's probably the most famous fight because he bit a chunk of your ear off. And I saw it when you were coming in here. Show everybody that. Well, you know. Uh, Did you ever think about getting that fixed? Well, no, it, you know, I, no, I, that's my identification. Now. <laughs> if I ain't got my ID, I can show my ear. <laughs> That is, right? If you want to get into somewhere. Um, do you know who I am? Look at my hair. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That was one of the craziest moments when Mills Lane looked at you and you were jumping up in the air and looked at Tyson and realized, holy shit, he bit a chunk out of your fucking ear. Right. Like, what? What were you thinking at that time? Biting him back. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm serious. I was getting ready to bite the daylights out of him. And I was going to bite him in the face. I would bite him in the face. I wasn't going to wait for the ear. I was going to get the fat stuff. You know, cause, you know, when you're from the ghetto, they say, if you do something, you got to do it worse than what they did. Right. And so, you know, and I told Mike in, in a talk show, I said, no. I said, no, I I was pretending like like I was hurting real bad. I said, but I was going to trip you up and bite you right in your face. Everybody know what I was going to do. I said, but uh, you know, this this prophet told us before the fight. He told me. He said, "Look, he gonna do something in your face area, that, but you got to stay focused. Cause if if you don't stay focused, God, that's the only way he gonna get you. Right. So by him biting me on my ear, when and man, and I knew I was getting ready to bite him back, and 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 but my corner person." So I started telling me, keep my mind on the Lord. Mm. And because the the, the the prophet told me, say, only way he can get you to get your mind, he he going to do something to you. Right. And your face. I thought he going to hit me with an elbow, a hip button, anything like that. But mm -hmm. I never, ever thought in my life he would bite me on the ear. And bite and, a chunky ear. Oh, and it hurt so bad. And people tell me, how bad did it hurt? I said, did you see how high I jumped? <laughs> I said, no, it was crazy. You just yeah. leaped up in the air. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Said, it hurt so bad. And I said, Dan, I said, Dan, that, that guy, my corner guy, Tim Hallmark, kept telling me, keep my mind on the Lord. And I ain't want to hear that. You know, right. if, now, right. even though he was saying that, and I was, man, I was still, I was just trying to, Remember that. Get him. I want to bite him. I was, <laughs> I I I really wanted to bite him back, and and all of a sudden I it, it hit my mind that they always catch the second person. Right. So I'm telling you, anything in life, and I'm the one that people always did something to them. They will always catch me, and I'm the only one to get get caught all the time because they always catch me trying to get to get back. So revenge is the Lord. So you don't go get back because you're going to get caught. Yeah, well, I was amazed that they didn't stop the fight immediately. Well, they came back and checked, and, and he asked me, you all right? And I said, yeah, because I, I at least wanted to hit him. Right. I, I really wanted to hit him. I was, man, I was, I was really upset. Well, he tried to bite you twice, right? Well, yeah, he, he bit me twice. He bit you twice. He, he bit me when when we went back in and he thought I was gonna be scared, then he seen I caught him with these two shots, then he bit me again, man. And I jumped back and I was just getting ready to kick him in the ball, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and 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 the bell rung and I went back to the corner, boy, and I was so doggone mad. I was I was really gonna get him, and they stopped the fight. Yeah. And then I got mad because they stopped the fight. Cause you were gonna get him. I, mean, I wanted yeah. to get him back. Well, it seemed like he thought that you were going to get him, and he was trying to find a way out. Well, yeah. That's well, the only thing that made sense. Well, yeah. But the thing is, only thing that I guess with me and what I stand on is that I was able to forgive him. And yeah. that's, that has been the turnaround in my life to tend to make people, people always wonder about the ear, the ear bite, and I said, but... I forgave him. And everybody said, so what's special about that? I said, but everywhere I go around the world with the Muslim, whatever, and people said, wow, this guy can forgive. How can you forgive when you already beating the guy? Yeah. I said, but you know, but it's it's what it's what life have to be if you're going to survive with 
even your brothers and sisters. Because if you don't forgive nobody, you're going to be a mad person. And you're going to find yourself locked up. Right, right. And it's going to haunt you. Yes. Whereas if you forgave him, it took a weight off your shoulders? Yes. I'm t- I'm t- I, uh, Mike and I, we do a lot of things together because the forgiveness part. That's it's a- cool to see you two together now. I mean, when, when I have seen things that you've done together, I'm like, wow, it's crazy. Like after he bit you, those crazy fights, and to see you together laughing and joking around together, it's it's pretty interesting. Well, I'm telling you, when you tell people, you know, when you don't choose your parents, you don't choose your neighborhood, you ain't choose your skin color, you ain't choose to be tall or short, but, you know, this is your statue. And and two people, two people came from the ghetto who boxed, and, and, and box was the only thing I did real well, okay, and football. And But the thing is that after all that, Look at how much money we made doing something that we, by doing it properly, we make money. Yeah. We make money and we can both, you know, raise our family in the way that we want to raise them. How long did it take after the fight before you forgave them? I, I, I think after about, by the time I, I got into the locker room and everybody started complaining, Man, I can't believe he did this, 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 this. I said, look, I said, did he bite you? They said, no, I, okay. I said, he bit me, right? And I said, now, I'm going to forgive him. And you know what? Y'all got to forgive him too. Wow. They said, what you mean, forgiving? I said, he ain't bite you. I said, he bit me. <laughs> I said, look, I'm going to forgive him. Wow. So yeah. you forgave him in the locker room right yeah. after the fight. Yes. Because the thing is, the thing is, I, you know, I was really mad coming coming down and people throwing water and people mad and they upset because they didn't get a chance to see what they really wanted to see. Right. Like this. And so they were mad and they were upset. And and I asked, you know, me, I figured, who in control? God. So I said, Lord, what is this thing all about? And he said, forgive me. And I, and I said, well, who in the world want to forgive me? But this is what it is. We, we're the two very important people that everybody come to see, and they need to know that forgiveness is a big part of life. And so I was able to do that. So in the point of being able to do that, you know, I, I, I realized that it made my life better all over the world. You got a Kleenex? Kleenex? Yeah, sure. That's, that's a very powerful thing, man. It yeah. really is. That's a very powerful decision, and... You know, it's a very powerful statement, you know, to for you to forgive him after that. I mean, that really, uh, that probably did a lot of good for a lot of people to realize, man, if Evander Holyfield can forgive Mike Tyson after he bit a chunk of his ear off, I mean, that's a that's a strong statement of character right there. Well, you know, the thing is, I did now a little early than that. Then they may not would have got that. Right. They would have got something else. <laughs> well, if you bit his face, <laughs> but yeah. but but the, yeah. the, 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 it's it's amazing how what time would do for you. Right, right. I, at one point in time, I'm telling you, something something would have happened. Right. But because they they gave me a little time to think about it and gave me and and I was like, and you know and you know with me when when things things don't go right, I go back to the prayer and say, Lord, what is this all about? Right. And he said, forgiveness. And, you know, and I, I wouldn't be who I am as it wasn't from forgiveness. Right. I'm talking about everybody don't fell short somewhere. Right. And like that. And so, you know, the whole big thing is, and and I talked to, the week a week after that, I talked to Mike. We were, we, we was at the All-Star basketball game in, in New York. And, and I looked up. And, and everybody was streaming. And I wonder what they were streaming about, telling me to watch out. I'm like, watch out for who? I looked up at, at, at Mike, and he had this big bear coat, and he like this. And so everybody was telling me, and, and warning me that Mike, Mike there. He had a big bear skin coat? You know, you know, he had a big, big fur big, coat? He had a big fur coat and stuff like that, and he wouldn't do nothing but shake hands. And, wow. And a week after. A week after, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, so your ear is probably still sore. No, no, I want not even. Really? That, the thing is, with my ear, my ear is almost like a testimony. Right. And, you know, it's almost like you win a trophy yourself, 
that a person looked and said, man, he forgave the guy. So I see that more people, when they see me, they look at my ear. Then after they see me here, then they smile. Like, so you're not in anger. They smile and say, well, you know, he, he forgave that guy. Wow. Yeah, so, so when you saw Mike, did you guys talk? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, a week well, after the fight? Yeah. What did yeah. he say to you? I mean, matter of fact, his his room was next door to mine, and I didn't know. <laughs> we came we came out. We we come out at the same time. He looked. He looked. He asked me, "Is it all good?" I said, "Yeah." So we get on the elevator together. Whoa! And we come down with the door open. Everybody was shocked. <laughs> and so they were shocked, wondering why we wasn't fighting. Right. And, and I, it was and, just you two in the elevator or yeah, other people yeah, as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, that's just it. Just you two in the yeah, elevator. Yeah. And so, wow. And so at the shocking part, and they said, man, man, we thought they would be fighting. And I told the guys, man, I said, you know how much money I got paid in that fight? How much money can you think we going to fight for free? <laughs> 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 was there ever a talk about a third fight? Wait, well, yeah, I had people mention it. You know, they, they mentioned it. Right. And but you know, I'm the thing is is that they wanted to give a lot of money and they, they were asking me to try to and my own thing is that I, I kinda feel like it's kinda bully for you to ask somebody to fight to fight you again when you know you're gonna win again. Right. I'm so, you know, so the whole big thing is you know, I just didn't I didn't think that if Mike if Mike wanted to do it, I would have done it. But I wasn't gonna go ask. I right. think I think you've been a bully when you know you're better than somebody, and you wanna you wanna play them in something that you know you're gonna beat them. Right, right. Like, you right. know, it's a challenge. It's somebody to challenge you. Think that I can come back and and beat you. But you know, just to, just you know, you feel that you better, and so I think it'd be wrong for me to ask it. Right. No, that's that's amazing. I mean, but that just shows what kind of a person you are. Like, uh, it shows what kind of character you have. And that sort of defines your career, that you are the guy that did always seek the big challenges. Yeah, 